Welcome to a tutorial on how to apply a magazine style theme to a WordPress site. Now what I have loaded here is my sandbox and here is my default MSCT content and I'm pointing to a home page called home. So this is a pretty static site. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to my um, dashboard and into my appearance and themes area and here's my magazine basic. When you go online and search for themes, you'll find tons of them are labeled as magazine style. Basically, a magazine style is um, a, a kind of a style where you may have a large image. It may be a slider. You may have a sidebar of other images with thumbnails, etc. This is the theme I'm going to use for instruction, and it's called Smart Line Light. I'm going to go ahead and activate that theme. And I'm going to come out and take a look at what that did for me. And it didn't do an awful lot. It's still looking like my traditional homepage for my um, uh, portfolio. But it does not look anything like this. So here's the message. Super important. When you're playing around with themes such as this, one of the best things that you can do is go ahead and click on the theme info and look at the documentation because they will always give you documentation as to how to set up the theme options or how to um, put in a, a magazine front page template, that kind of thing. And quite frankly, without reading that documentation, you're really not going to get too far. You would end up just like I've got, which is a site that looks like this when what I want it to look like is this over here. So I've gone ahead and read the directions and one of the things that I read is that the first thing I need to do is I need to go to the home page and lo and behold here is my home page and I can see that there but I need to switch this over to magazine home page that's one of the features in this particular theme I'm going to click on update now the important part here not to panic this theme relies very heavily on posts, which means this content on this home page is going to disappear. And in fact, when I reload it, poof, it's gone. And that's because this theme works um, almost exclusively off of posts for its front magazine piece. You can still add static pages in your menu bars up here or custom in menus anywhere you want. But if I'm going to do a magazine front page, it needs to be a post. So in order for me to get this onto the front page, I'd have to copy and paste all of these out to be posts. So for this example, I've done that. So I will not really lose anything here, but that's the heads up on that particular thing. I'm going to click update again. And once again, I'm going to double check and it says, please go to appearance widgets and add at least one widget to the magazine homepage. And this is very common of these themes that have magazine combinations or even the one page themes. A lot of them will rely heavily on your widgets. So I'm going to go to appearance and widgets. Now the standard widget widgets, excuse me, like a kismet archives, audio calendar, all of those are there, but notice here that you've got some uh, customized kinds of things here, right? Um, so we've got a custom a single, we've got uh, category posts boxed. Those look like they're specialized category post two columns, etc. So I'm going to actually, before I even start doing all of that, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and apply a background. I'm going to apply a header up top just to give myself a little bit more visual. Okay, I played around for a moment or two, and as you can see, I've added a background. I decided against adding an image up here in the top for the moment, simply because I think it might be too much. I eventually envisioned having some sort of slider content here with a bunch of uh, thumbnails. So I decided to not go with a, a header image just yet. So let's go ahead and follow directions here, go to the appearance widgets, add at least one widget to the magazine homepage. So, I've already taken my page and I've switched over that template to the home page. And now I have over here under my appearance and widgets, I've got a home page. Notice that it says appears on magazine homepage template only. You can use the category post widget here. And what that means is that if I hadn't gone back to my pages and set my homepage to have the template called magazine homepage, 
this would not do anything for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just playing with these. I'm going to put um, this in there. And for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and put in boxed only because that's what this type of uh, theme is all about. And because I'm not really sure what this is going to look like, I'm going to be fairly verbose in terms of of labeling them later on I'll go back and put the right things in and so there it is so what it looks like to me is that there's a large box over here and then it cascades with the other ones there so that's uh, okay um, I'm going to delete that one remembering that when I delete the widget there it does not actually delete it it only simply removes it from the um, area um, so I'm going to say um, posts here and now on all of these I can go ahead and play with my um, categories I'm going to do an important info category on the left and a children's and I want my number of posts to be three I can display the category titles highlight first post big image and excerpt I'm going to click on save and go see what that takes me to I'm going to reload this so now I've got two columns, and so here I see a larger image with the two sub-images, the larger image with the two sub-images, and that works okay as well. And here's my title called Posts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play with one more, so I'm going to delete that. Now these can be used in combinations, so you do not need to worry about adding different combinations. So I'm going to post a grid here, and once again I'm going to put grid, and I'm going to leave it at all categories and I'm going to say uh, display small grids with thumbnails um, I, I'm not going to worry about that it says please choose an even number two four six or eight so I want to pay attention to that if I want to change the number of, of posts so I'm going to reload that and here are uh, here is a sample of my grid layout pretty easy pretty straightforward so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just show you that you can double these up so here I've got this grid piece here and what if I wanted to post um, let's go with the boxed and let's call this one funny let's save it notice that this boxed one doesn't give me an option of how many widgets or how many posts to uh, show so that'll be interesting but notice that I had put that on top of let me close this I stacked these in the order in which I want them so the box one's going to come in first the grid one's going to come in second so here is the boxed one and it looks like it's just picking up the same category over here I think I only have a couple of pieces in that category um, and here's the grid down there so you can see that I'm beginning to build out that magazine style um, of, of interface and that's how you do it in this particular theme now before I I cut out on this tutorial I do want to add a little bit of pizzazz here at the top a slider a slider sliders are kinda going out of vogue but that's okay we're gonna uh, put that in there anyway so one of the things that I notice here on this theme is it doesn't have a slider however I know after having read the documentation that indeed sliders are available so um, you're gonna have to do the pain of reading the documentation on a different type of theme but here I've read it for you and so I know that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go under appearance and customize I'm customizing the themes and I've got this theme option and I've got actually a couple of things are, that are of interest here. I can choose my left and right sidebar. Um, I can choose my header settings, which is to put a search bar up here, or I can do social icons up there. I can do my post settings, which I've already set up to where I only want to see excerpts as opposed to full posts, right? Some of my posts can be quite lengthy, so I don't want to show the entire post. Um, I can decide how long it's going to be so maybe I only want 20 characters sorry my uh, two is is not working quite correctly um, display featured images on archives on singles display I can play with all of these kinds of things so that's pretty cool I'm going to back out of that but here's the one I was looking for which is the post slider so 
Um, here's the option, show slider on magazine homepage. And again, because I have read the information, I know that I need to add a tag of my choice. And the tag I usually use is featured posts. And so, um, and I can choose the different type of effect. I can choose the number of posts. I'm going to click on save and publish. Remembering that I, I added a tag called featured posts. So let me look and see what that looks like. And boom, there's nothing there. And that's because I don't have any of my posts labeled as a featured tag. So I need to go back. Sorry, having a little bit of a brain thing. It's called featured posts. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my posts. And now I'm going to look at these posts here and I am going to, um, I'm going to do something fun here. I want to do this, but now over here in the tag area, I'm going to start typing. And because I've got a post listed, it should eventually come up, but I need that post in there. And if I want to do um, baby bumblebee featured, posts. And so anything in this list that I have going that is um, tagged with a featured post, it should come up in that um, slider. So categories are over here on the left hand side. We played with those, but now we're looking at tags. These are the tags. They function just like categories. I can add different categories. I can add different tags. And I've assigned a couple of posts to that. So now let me reload that. And there they are. So now these are my different um, posts that I've added up here as um, tags. And so that's how we would start this out in terms of um, using SmartLine to develop a magazine style theme. So go ahead and give that a try and catch you later.